My main idea for this was just to share my journey behind the scenes because no matter how much planning you do, something can go wrong and you gotta be okay with that. What's going on y'all, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jeff, cinematographer from Brooklyn, New York. Just here sharing my journey in commercial and documentary. And today we're breaking down the commercial I shot for From the Archive called Bodega Flowers. Papi, let me get that bacon, egg, and cheese, So the brand idea was simply finding a bodega that had flowers. We shoot it in there, try to tell a story, or like giving flowers to the community. Then we went from that to a young lady that was supposed to act in it, and she was supposed to be giving flowers to her neighborhood in Harlem. And I was just like, all right, we scouted the location in Harlem. We did storyboarding, we did everything that we needed to do in order for us to execute. Shoot date comes, last minute emergency, actress can't show up, boom. Now we have a deadline that we wanna you know, meet for him to put out the product because he's been sitting on this product for a while so he can tell the story first in order for him to release. Marketing strategy. So now we have to figure out something else because she can't make it. Whoa, talking about wind took down my camera. Ah, All right, yeah, a lot just happened just now. Camera fell and the port just broke in my, I had to pry it out my phone. So let me find a place to sit down and explain the rest of this story. So due to the fact that I'm limited on what I can do with this little damn camera now, had my notes, I was well prepared, had my notes to make sure I stay on court and everything. Everything was strategic to make sure you guys are engaged. But bear with me as I continue the story. So David and I decided that since we don't have her anymore, we're gonna keep it Brooklyn and we're gonna figure out what location we're gonna find. So this is the location we chose right here, Flatbush, Parkside Avenue. Um, this corner store has been a corner store for as long as we know. Uh, we grew up in this neighborhood, so me and Pete go way back. We won't get into that <laughs> yet, but we go way back, man. Um, I would say fourth grade, let's just say that. But ultimately, like, yo, his brand, obviously we're Brooklyn cats. We wanted to represent Brooklyn overall at the end of the day, because the story, like I explained before in the beginning, it started out with a mission, you know, showing Harlem and what Harlem is about. But it's ironic that I'm here at this corner and somebody out here <laughs> just wilding, yelling across the street. You know, that goes to show you the real and authentic Brooklyn side of things or whatnot. But Flatbush for, will forever be Flatbush. Um, yeah, it's great. But it was, we secured the location by just simply walking in, letting them know like our plan and how we, um, what, what was the best time to utilize the shop. So we got into the shop right after rush hour and we just executed the best way we can and utilized the space for what we needed. They allowed us to go in the back a little bit, but we wanted to get a shot um, in back of um, the counter um, to show like the bacon and cheese, the bacon egg and cheese being done, but all in all, like, yo, the guy was like, nah, you kind of like reaching a little bit too much because the owner wasn't there and there was someone else. So the guy that said yes to us didn't really, didn't really, um, didn't show up that day. It was someone else. 
So he just allowed us, he just knew that we could use the shop. Oh no, you can go ahead. Yeah, you can go ahead, mommy. Have a good day. All right. So he was just like, yo, you can't, you can't utilize um, the back there. And I was just like, all right, it's all good. But he let us in the freezer to get that close up shot of him grabbing a drink in the shop, which we appreciated. But ultimately, it tied in with the story well of dislocation. And I recorded that piece before this piece, so I won't have to walk back to that store and that area. So the camera was pretty fine there. <laughs> and I'm telling all my secrets, but it's all good. After filming at that location, we went to a second location, which I was gonna go after this, but it kind of makes no sense to go there now. <laughs> Once we got there, right, we filmed, we just started filming. We didn't even ask. It was one of those, go in, don't, don't ask permission, ask forgiveness. Ask, don't ask for permission, ask for, for forgiveness. That, that was something that was told to me <laughs> um, by someone else that I worked with. And I was just like, that's an interesting way to put it. But, you know, I'm always going to ass but once they saw the cameras they was just like all right you know they're doing something real fast you know and they let everything slide so we was just being typical new yorkers being creative we started talking to the flower guy the guy that made the flowers which i think his name is rose Ro rose rose or something like that and yeah he agreed to everything he was just down and i was just like wow that's like yo his energy is, is dope he was just like he barely spoke english you know but that didn't mean anything and um he he just connected on the on the frequency on the energy that we had and he was just like all right cool let's 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 do it and david had an extra hoodie so he put the hoodie on him and it made it seem like you know it was a nice little flow that the product is in use so the purpose was to catch shots of him putting the flowers together and like just doing things on set that wasn't really planned out so you had to be there in order for us to really put the story together i wanted it for sure to look like as one story there was a point of time that we was on set and then he wanted like a front entry walk-in type situation and i was just like no we can't do that because we got to time both of the spaces and yeah it just worked out at the end of the day to make it seem like it was one location because even though i showed the front of the other space the first location i was at the first um, corner store because it was a quick, a quick glimpse inside the commercial that you don't really notice but you just think it's just a store you know just repping the, the neighborhood so all in all like i'm glad that it turned out the way it did because I did it such in a chronological order. You know, you walk into the store, yes, for the big and egg and cheese, and it, it took you through the paces of what should actually happen when you go into a New York City bodega. Because he wanted that feeling of like, yo, people feeling the New Yorkness of the space and what sounds you hear in the, in the video too. So there are certain sounds that I left in the video so you can hear you heard him say yo let me get the bacon egg and cheese yo, I, yo yo bobby let me get the bacon egg and cheese and you heard the sound of the sizzling the pan the, the chopping down and all of that even the the fridge sound i kind of left it there a little bit these are all like part of like sound design where i i really wanted to bring the audience in and make them feel like that they were in the store too you know and really experiencing what he was experiencing at the time. And, you know, for the non-New Yorkers to really truly know what New York feels like. But Rose, if that's his name, Rosa, Rosa, that's what he said. He, like I said, he played a major part in it because he really, like, he really, he really executed what we see on a regular in New York City, as far as like getting those flowers put together is most of the time they're doing the, the, the labor, the, the hard work of putting, you know, working in these shops and putting these flowers together, which is dope, man. You know, it's tough. You know, the economy, the world is, is all is all jacked up. But all in all, like, I'm not even sure if the lighting is correct here. But I'm just going to let this thing rock, man. I know this is 
kind of chaka chaka for the first one. Okay, somebody's dog is about to come up here and say what up. I don't know what they're gonna do. All right, homie. Yeah. So to 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 end with like why the coloring? The coloring. I felt like I shot this on the Black Magic Cinema camera. That's my main driver. It's a dope camera. Get me wrong, but this manual is 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 hell. <laughs> So if you don't like manually doing things, it's not really a camera for you. But I, I love that aspect of it, and it challenges me every time I get on set. But if you have a first AC, that is clutch with that damn camera. But I don't, and I put my, my own focus. I would prefer working alongside like someone else to, to help me with the you know, pulling focus and all that stuff. Cause camera movement is really where I'm at and composition is really, you know, important to me. The way to tell the story, like it feels like something comes out of me and like make the edits happen. It's like, I tell you, like I tell people this all the time. Like it feels like an out of body experience when I like zone, you know, like you get in this zone. I used to play ball and, you know, I play ball, pick up ball from time to time now, but like there's a zone you get in where it just feels like you're just levitating and you're just watching yourself ball out. So it's like, it feels like the same way me editing, it feels like I'm balling out. Like I'm just, seeing you know, somebody just come down and just took control, like high power. I feel like God, like not me, I'm not a God, but I'm just saying like, Feels like, you know, that spirit comes down and just take care of everything for me and put the pieces together. And then when somebody sees the edit, it's just like, oh my gosh, I love it, did it now, which I'm grateful for. And I just like, yo, all glory to God, man. Like, yo, even this experience here, like, it was all glory to God that kept me pushing to complete the video because it definitely did all my work that I needed to do. All I needed to do is come out here and shoot and for something to break on me, I didn't plan that. But no one expects that. But I gotta persevere and make sure I get the information that I want out, out of me. And hopefully it helps you, you know, in the long term, like long run, short run, whatever run, at any point in your life, any point of, point of your career, hopefully this video helps you and guides you and lets you know that no matter you know, what little mistakes or what little thing, no matter how much planning you do, something can go wrong and you gotta be okay with that. And I think I executed everything um, as far as like getting access. I spoke about that. I spoke about, you know, Rosa. I spoke about, um, you know, why I chose the coloring. And, you know, typically it's just like a journey. My main idea for this was just to share my journey behind the scenes because not everyone understands the process of editing, the process of planning a shoot and like getting the logistics out like, and then what happens on set because we tend to see um, the finished product but never know um, what happens on set because a lot can change on set even from the planning that goes to show you is today, a lot happened on set here um, filming this and a lot happened on set there where we was in the deli and we was just shooting and there were certain parts like I didn't know I could get in the freezer I didn't know I was banned from behind the counter um, from not going to um, to not go you know film you know the bacon and the cheese being done I had to do that over the counter um, and then the guy getting frustrated but can't be mad it's a place of business and we couldn't shut it down. We didn't have that budget to like shut it down and film like an actual studio. But we used what we got and that's what turned out out of it, you know? And you just gotta go with the flow. Be water, you know, thank God for everything. And all in all, you know, just execute. Hopefully you execute. And hopefully, like I said, you take away all that you can take away from this video and hopefully the next one will go exactly how I wanted it to go. 
And yeah, on that note, 